Our next round is called This Is My, where we bring on a mystery guest who has a close connection to one of our panellists. Now, this week, each of David's team will claim it's them that has the genuine connection to the guest, and it's up to Lee's team to spot who's telling the truth. So please welcome this week's special guest, Emma. <laughs> Judy, what is Emma to you? Uh, this is Emma, and when I freaked out in a broken-down lift, she kept me calm by playing a game of Guess Who. <laughs> right, uh, Chris, perhaps you'd like to explain how you know Emma. This is Emma, and I have brought her here tonight to apologise for making her cry whilst filming a TV show. <laughs> right, finally, David, what's your relationship with Emma? This is Emma... She dived into a swimming pool to save me when she mistook my backstroke for drowning. <laughs> so there we have it. Lee, where will you start? Mm, I think we'll start with Judy. When was this? And do not say 20 years ago. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. A year and a half. A year ago. and a half ago. Yeah. Where was this lift? Lewisham Shopping Centre. Right. And I came out of the car park. Yeah. Went into the lift. In your car? No. No. With my two feet. Yeah. And her parents and her was walking. Her parents wanted to just go up the stairs and she was wanted to go in the lift. So they were like, all right, we'll meet you on We'll meet you up there. So it broke down and, and you were just alone, the two of you together. Yeah. And how, and how long were you stuck in the lift for? It felt like ages, but it was something like 16 minutes or so. OK, quite a long time. <laughs> so is Emma calm? Yes. How long do you stay calm for? About maybe 45 seconds. That... <laughs> you only lasted 45 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> so it just went, Oonk, and I was, like, pressing the alarm, and then someone speaks. I said, oh, we're stuck in the lift. Something's wrong with the lift. Right. And he said, oh... You've we'll... pressed the alarm after 45 seconds? I just thought, I can't be stuck in here, I can't be stuck in here, I need to get out, I need to get... Like, how long are they going to take? And what was Emma saying? She was saying, oh, it should be all right, it's calm down. She was but fantastic, and that's why she's but amazing. Respect, but with respect, why did that comfort you in any way? After all, Emma was far too young to be any kind of hydraulics expert. <laughs> <laughs> so how did she calm you down? You mentioned something about, uh, about a game. Yeah, she was just like, why don't we, um, like, play this game to, like, just keep ourselves occupied? What did you play? Guess who. But you mean Over guess who on the, on the phone? No, you know the little card game with the thing that you pull up? She brought with her a portable <laughs> board game. Um, At this point, did you think, I think she deliberately did this to the lift? <laughs> so how did this all come to a conclusion? Well, you know, after playing, like, a few games, we just heard someone saying, oh, look, we're here, we're here, we're here, it's going to be all right. Here's the big question. When help arrived, fire brigade or mountain rescue? <laughs> <laughs> Now, what about Chris and his story? Uh, Chris, OK, so you... I've brought her on the show tonight to apologise to her because you made her cry on television. Yeah. Is that correct? It is. Yeah, so how, how did you make Emma cry? Mm. I, I was mean. <laughs> OK. <laughs> In my defence, I was hired to be mean to children and it turns out I'm just really, really good at it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> what do you mean you were hired to be mean to her? There was, a, there was a TV show that I was um, approached to be on and they wanted me to be a bit of a nuisance and a bit of a pain and try and make life difficult for the kids. And David wasn't available. <laughs> <laughs> so what show was this, Chris? It, it was a, it was a, a, a cooking show um, where young kids uh, had to run a restaurant. What and was the I, show called? It was called Step Up to the Plate. Right, before we go anywhere... Step up to the plate. Have you seen it? Never heard of it. John? I, I might have heard of that. Yeah, just then. I mean, before yeah, now. Yeah, you're not before, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a kid's show. Were you a customer? Yes. They hired me specifically to be difficult. I see. So, specifically, what sort of things did you say, Chris? I'd get brought food and I, <laughs> and, and I was told, oh, this is surprisingly sweet. And I'd say, well, it, it's, not, it's not surprisingly sweet anymore, is it? Because you've told me it's sweet. <laughs> Surprise! That's what you've done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Was she your waitress? Yeah, the, she was. She was one of my waitresses, and the kids took turns. And Emma was about number three. What? Uh, how? By, by do which we know... point I'd really kind of got into the groove, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
think the only mistake that Emma really made is that she, she told me that the meat in the meal was, was Venice instead of venison. Oh. Uh, She's a child, oh, you my... barbarian. <laughs> what, what did you reply with? Well, I'm going to be eating the Italian city of Venice, am I? I think... <laughs> No wonder, no wonder it smells of sewage and canals. <laughs> I mean, can you please pass my compliments to the chef for being able to represent the stagnant filth of the city of loving meat form? <laughs> oh, but I'll tell you what, I didn't see it, but I'm going to find it. <laughs> well, Chris, you said you wanted to apologise. Why don't you take the opportunity? So, Emma, I'm, I'm sorry for being mean on the show um, and, 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 and for making... Really... Re so, sorry, Chris, one moment, sorry. Emma, could you put the middle finger away, please? <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. I'm sorry, Chris. Right, only young David is left. Remind us, David. Uh, this is Emma, mm. and she dived into a swimming pool to save me after mistaking my backstroke for drowning. Where was it? Where did it happen? It happened in a swimming pool in Italy. Oh, Italy! Oh, Italy was it yeah. in Venice? <laughs> <laughs> it was in the city. Come on, you can do Italian this, David. City of Sorrento. Okay. Oh. It's more of a town than a city, isn't it? Do you know? I'm not entirely sure. Have you ever been there? <laughs> um, no, never. <laughs> <laughs> no more questions. Um, no. I have been to Sorrento. Is Emma? Italian? No, no. But she was on holiday? <laughs> yes. Right. So, and... and I'm not Italian either. <laughs> right. So you're, you're on holiday on your own, I'm assuming? No, I'm with my wife and child. That's oh. still going strong? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but they weren't in the swimming pool. So you're on, doing the backstroke? Yes. And... and... Not classic backstroke. <laughs> I, will, I will admit that. Not this. I'm not doing that, cos I I find my shoulders don't like it. What were you, what doing? you doing? Were you doing doggy paddle? Dogs don't swim on their backs, you'd see everything. My no, no, no. <laughs> is, is, that why they, is that why they don't do it? Absolutely. <laughs> They're notoriously shy creatures. So tell us about your um, unconventional backstroke. Well, I'm just on my back, sort of, I just sort of... Oh, you're doing that, do a bit you? of you're that. Doing that. Thought, yeah, and I think I'm probably doing breaststroke legs, actually, if you can imagine anything yeah. so mad and fusion. <laughs> But I've got a, a sort of iPod that's been waterproofed. You can listen to things while swimming back and forth and you get the vague exercise of the swimming without the unremitting tedium. <laughs> Going on your mime, yeah. you don't look to me like you're drowning, so why did Emma feel she had to come and help well, you? Well, one of the disadvantages of this listening device um, is that it is slightly difficult to rewind or change uh, tracks. Uh, and so I you've changed the track to I... the Beatles' help. You've sang along. <laughs> <I'm>... <laughs> <laughs> I'm... No, I'm not singing. I'm just trying to go back five minutes in the episode that I'm listening to. Oh, okay. But in doing so, I, you know, I've become slightly unsettled in the water. Mm. A little bit of water has gone up my nose. I might have gone a bit spluttery, and I'm trying to... Reclip the thing. You look to some, particularly to Emma, yeah. as if you're in distress. What happened? Yeah. The first thing I knew, though, she jumped in the pool and was lifting my chin up. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you say? I, I probably kicked off with an apology. That's how I usually start most social interactions. <laughs> and she said, "Oh, I thought I thought you were in trouble." And I went, "Oh no, I'm I'm okay, but thank you very much." So where were Emma's? Parents. They weren't in evidence. This poor child's either left alone in a pool, <laughs> left alone in a lift, no, no. or be left alone to be shouted were... at by Chris. <laughs> they, were, they were somewhere vague. Where are her parents tonight? <laughs> Nobody knows. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we need an answer. So, Lee's team is Emma, Judy's calming companion, Chris's forlorn friend, or David's swimming saviour? John. I think Chris seems the most plausible to me. Mm. Judy gave a brilliant performance of someone who had been trapped in the lift. It was it like was the beginning of an episode of Casualty. Very, it? Yeah, <laughs> it was. I'm very grateful I to I have Emma. to say, it was good, but it was hard to follow her breakup with David. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we going to say, then? Chris. 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 We'll go Chris. OK, they're saying that it's Chris and the TV show. Emma, would you please reveal your true identity? I'm Emma, and Chris made me cry on TV. Oh! Oh! 
Emma, you're a superstar, cos I genuinely thought that you saved me in a lift. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Emma is Chris's full-on friend. Thank you very much, Emma. Woo!